telling you, I heard blaster fire. I think we've been compromised. There, intruder! Ball! Call for backup, now! Sorry to break up your little meeting, but Havoc Squad sends their regards. Safro, wipe the data! We can't let it fall into enemy hands! She's one soldier, Ball! Kill her! Sergeant, you've returned. Well, masterful work eliminating the Separatist officers. The beast has been beheaded. I'll get the officer's data out to the rest of Havoc right away. As for you, Lieutenant Doran here has a special op already planned out. Earlier today, a man named Zack came to the fort from Oradam Village seeking medical attention. Zack was suffering from acute radiation poisoning, causing catastrophic organ failures. His body was practically tearing itself apart from within. Quite magnificent to observe. Is it normal for villagers to get radiation poisoning, sir? Not at all. As a day laborer, Zack performs pointless menial tasks that would never involve any kind of radiation exposure. On the other hand, Fuse told us that the ZR-57 can leak significant amounts of radiation if handled improperly. Zack must have been near the ZR-57, knowingly or otherwise. I want the details, even if you must pry them from his dying husk of a mind. Are we really gonna be so ruthless, sir? This is a desperate situation, Sergeant. We need that intel. The medics who treated Zack weren't equipped to cure his condition. Most of their supplies have been stolen by scavengers. However, if you were to retrieve the necessary ingredients to treat Zack's affliction, I think you would find the offer of a cure very useful in gaining his cooperation. Given that Zack's current medications can promise only a lifetime of excruciating pain, the potential for a full recovery should be an excellent motivator. Command knows exactly where the scavengers are. We just haven't had the resources to deal with them. Here are the coordinates and a list of ingredients to retrieve. Any questions? Once I have the ingredients, where do I take them? What's Zack's location? Once you've got the cure collected, you'll confront Zack at his home in Ordam Village and question him about the ZR-57. Nothing fancy on this, Sergeant. Just get the ingredients, get the intel from Zack, and then get back. Dismissed. You... you're a soldier, right? From the fort? Please help us. We're really sick. My wife is dying. Forget it. Uh, I'll be fine, Zack. Just get that soldier out of here. No, Jaller. Please, soldier. The medic's at the fort. I talked to them earlier. Please, tell them to send help. As long as you tell me what I need to know, everything will be all right. You, what? I, I don't understand. What would you need our help with? Admit what you know, and you won't be in any trouble. I don't understand. We haven't done anything wrong. Jaller, what have your friends gotten us into? Quiet, Zack. We don't know anything about... Anything. They're the reason we're both sick. Aren't they? You're dying because of them! Zack, don't. You ruin everything. The movement... The movement sold us out! They don't care about us! They just care about their weapons and their secrets! No. I'll never betray the movement. Never. Let's not make this any harder than it has to be, ma'am. Jaller, they aren't worth dying for. Think of me. I love you. If you love me, Zack, you won't betray everything I stand for. Please let me go. Please, Jaller. No. Use this injector. It will cure your radiation poisoning. Both of you. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. No, Zack. Not worth... Shh. You're going to be okay now. I'm not going to lose you, Jaller. I'm not. You've saved us, soldier. You've saved Jaller. I owe you everything. All I ask is that you tell me where the ZR-57 is. Oh, right. The, the crate. Jaller and I helped move this really big crate. We got sick right afterward. I'm sure it's what you're looking for. We dropped the crate off at the Stronghold. It's the Separatists' main base. Thank you for your assistance. So long, soldier. Come in, Sergeant. I copied everything. Sounds like we're gonna be hitting the Separatists where they live. Good work. I'm a charming person. What can I say? Yeah, I guess you missed your calling. 
Just hang on before you file for that transfer. We still got work to do. Infiltrating that mountain stronghold isn't going to be easy. I put out the call. Havoc is assembling immediately, so get back here on the double. I can't wait to take those steps down once and for all. You and me both, Sergeant. Jorgen out. Whoa, whoa, not so fast, Sergeant. You and me need to have a little talk. I'm Lieutenant Verk. I think maybe you heard of me. See, my boys here saw you having a chat with little Ensign Farn. I know Farn told you about my business, and I know you went and blabbed about it to some very important people. And now, I got a mountain of paperwork to do, hearings to go to, people asking questions, and I don't like that. Not everyone on Ord Mantell is interested in making you happy. Maybe not everyone cares, but the ones who want to make it home someday sure do. Wise up. This island is my little kingdom. I can make sure people live, and I can make sure they die. So you better believe that I'm going to make extra sure you come home from your next assignment in a box, Sergeant. Don't try to scare me. You don't have to be scared for accidents to happen. I think we're done here, boys. Let's move out. Ah, oh, Sergeant. Welcome back. Grab yourself a seat. You're gonna be observing the op here with me. Observing what op? Where are Commander Tavis and the others? Havoc Squad is infiltrating the Separatist stronghold to retrieve the ZR-57 as we speak. Commander Tavis was very clear. Under no circumstances can I send you in to join Havoc on this mission. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. I honestly thought you were starting to come along, but I guess Tavis still isn't convinced you're ready for the big time. I trust Commander Tavis' judgment. Maybe next time, Sergeant. I'm sure... Lieutenant, sir! We've got a situation here! Talk to me, Ensign. What's going on? We've lost contact with Havoc Squad, sir. Comms, video locators, everything. It's like they've disappeared completely. That's unacceptable, soldier. You get back to that terminal, and you get me Havoc status. Now. Yes, sir. You think Zack and Joller set us up, sir? There's no way to tell from here. Whatever happened was bad. Still no signal from Havoc Squad, sir. I think we may have lost them. All right, listen up, people. This mission will not fail on my watch. We are not going to let that bomb get away again. Infiltrating that stronghold is a mission only Havoc Squad can pull off. Lucky for us, we have one Havoc Trooper left. Sergeant, you're going in there. The ZR-57 must not remain in Separatist hands. Is that clear, Sergeant? Shouldn't I confirm Havoc status, sir? They may need backup ASAP. The ZR-57 is your primary objective. Once it's dealt with, we'll see what we can do for Tavis and the others. We were hoping to get the bomb back intact, but we're way south of a best-case scenario here. So here's the new plan. We have the activation code for the ZR-57. We disarm the bomb, leaving the SEPs with nothing but a big radioactive paperweight. You'll have to hijack the Separatist's comm system to broadcast the code. This data spike should do the trick. I never thought it'd come to this, Sergeant. I don't need to tell you what happens if you don't pull this off. Tough missions are what I do best. Just be sure you play it safe out there. We have zero room for errors on this one. You have the coordinates for the Separatist Stronghold. I'm sure you can guess how much security they're likely to have. Breach the perimeter, use the data spike on the comm terminal, and shut the ZR-57 down for good. Thousands of lives are on the line, Sergeant. We're counting on you. Good luck, Sergeant. You did it, Sergeant. That was some top-notch soldiering. We're all proud of you. I encountered Imperial soldiers guarding the bomb. Copy that. We saw them through your armor cam. Unbelievable. Imperial soldiers operating right alongside the Separatists. We need to know how deep this connection goes. I want you to continue further into the base. Finding the rest of Havoc Squad is now priority one. If they've been captured, they might be able to tell us more about what's going on in there. If possible, you should also retrieve the ZR-57. It costs about 40 million credits, so Command would like it back. But your squad mates are the main objective now. If you learn any more, be sure to contact me. You got it, Sergeant. Sergeant, I thought my orders were very clear. You aren't supposed to be here. I will take her. No, Wraith. The Sergeant deserves to know the truth. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. I harbor no ill will toward you. You're everything a warrior should be. I'm afraid the Republic no longer values her warriors, even the very best among them. 
All of you swore to protect the Republic from its enemies. Those oaths were sworn to a Republic that doesn't exist anymore, Sergeant. The truth is that no matter what they may say, the Republic Senate doesn't actually believe it can win another war against the Empire. That makes you and I a threat. Every Havoc Squad victory fires up people's imaginations. It fills them with pride. Which means the bureaucrats can't afford to let us keep succeeding. How is the outright tyranny of the Empire any better? If only you'd been with us longer, Sergeant. You would understand. You might even have come with us. The Republic abandoned us. During a mission on Ando Prime, they simply left us to die. But I won't try to persuade you. Honestly, I hope you die with your ideals intact. The rest of us will never have that luxury. It's not too late, Tavis. You can still turn back. Turn back to what? The Republic that wants me dead and gone? No, Sergeant, I think not. Oh, uh, by the way, good work finding the ZR-57 for us. We were starting to worry that the Separatists might, you know, waste our big present for the Empire. But thanks to you, we can now present the Empire with this magnificent tool of destruction. Glad I could contribute to your treason. We'd better get a move on, boss. If we don't break Atmo in the next few minutes, every gun in the sky will have a clear shot on us. Time we were off. Colonel Vor, please give this sergeant the warrior's death she deserves. Go ahead and run. Someone's gonna catch you eventually. It's been an honor serving with you, Sergeant. Goodbye. General, with all due respect, how can you do this? I've served with you in infantry command for years. That's enough, Jorgen. This wasn't my choice. But a defection of this scale, somebody has to swing, and the powers that be say it's you. I guess word of the defection is traveling fast. Your command full of traitors just destroyed my career, Sergeant. Command can't punish them, so they're burning me instead. You must be our last loyal Havoc member. I'm General Vander, the Republic Chief of Operations for Ord Mantell. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. On behalf of the Republic and the people of Ord Mantell, I want to thank and congratulate you for your courageous actions in disabling the stolen ZR-57. Your heroic efforts saved countless innocent lives. In recognition of your valiant service, I hereby promote you to the rank of Lieutenant. Congratulations. I'm honored. Now, Lieutenant, as the last remaining member of Havoc, the duty of rebuilding the squad falls to you. Havoc is your command. To get the process started, I've decided to assign Sergeant Jorgen here as Havoc's first new member. I'd be glad to have you in the unit, Jorgen. I'll take the Havoc patch and Sergeant Stripes if it means I get to grind them into Tavis' face before we kill him. This is the best I can do for you, Jorgen. You're a good man, and we need good people now more than ever. I don't know what Tavis is planning, but he knows the inner workings of our military better than anyone. The destruction he could cause is limitless. I won't allow Tavis and the others to harm the Republic, sir. Just don't underestimate them, Lieutenant. Tavis and his followers won't be easy to take down. In any case, your work here is done. I've got a shuttle prepped and you're going to Coruscant for your next assignment. When you arrive on Coruscant, report immediately to the head of Spec Force Division, General Garza. She'll be issuing your orders from now on. The head of Special Forces, huh? This just keeps getting better. General Garza is a great woman. You are fortunate to have this opportunity to work with her, in spite of the circumstances. You better get to your shuttle. It's waiting for you in the landing bay. Lieutenant, Sergeant, you're dismissed. I hope I see you again someday. So, Havoc Squad. The best of the best. Can't say I'm thrilled about the demotion, but it's an honor to be here, sir. I realize the circumstances weren't ideal, but I'm glad you're with us, Jorgen. A spot in Havoc was the least they could do. Four years at the Academy, seven years in the field, decorations, commendations. Would have made captain soon if command hadn't hung me out to dry. 
We both know Tavis's defection wasn't your fault. Tell that to the brass when they need a scapegoat. But hey, water under the bridge. Command put me in havoc to help you find Tavis, and I intend to do just that. I've hunted Imperials from one side of the galaxy to the next. Used to command the Deadeyes, finest sniper squad in the Republic. I'm not familiar with that outfit. No? Maybe I'll tell you about them sometime.